Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. As um, some of you probably already know, I was appointed chief prosecutor or specialist prosecutor of the newly established Kosovo Specialist Prosecutor's Office on September the 1st. I was chosen for this job because I have demonstrated the ability to conduct successful investigations and prosecutions of war crimes and crimes against humanities cases. I intend to do this job the way I have always done things in the past, fairly, vigorously, and without fear or favor. I know from personal experience how painful and difficult and how complex prosecuting mass atrocity cases is. Now, I am aware of the political sensitivity of what I am doing, but I repeat, I will be guided only by the facts and by the law. I am obligated as well to protect witnesses and to keep confidential and secure all information that should be protected to ensure that witnesses who give evidence are not intimidated or harmed or threatened. Now, those are my remarks, and I'm ready to take your questions. And as I said, I'll do my best to answer them within sort of the limits that I've described. Um, could you give us a ballpark of how many people you might be looking at? And of course, one of the people who was mentioned in uh, Marty in the 2011 report is now the president of Kosovo. I understand that you won't want to say whether you're looking at him or not, but can you at least tell us whether you are looking at everybody or whether there's some people that you will not be touching? You will know when someone is accused, when an indictment or charging document accusing them is made public by the court when charges are confirmed. Any speculation about that is just that, speculation. But further, it is unfair and potentially destructive, both to those who are victims and witnesses, and to those who are or aren't accused. influence the life of each and every person in Kosovo. During the war, I was arrested by Serbian forces, accused for preparing a terrorist act against uh, Milosevic in Serbia. Uh, AGLC, Humanitarian Law Center, and Ms. Natasha Kandic in Serbia helped me a lot. When I was released from the prison, I just wanted to thank her and Humanitarian Law Center for saving my life. So I met her and she just asked me if I would work for agency and of course I accepted immediately. Humanitarian Law Center Kosovo is a non-government organization. It is engaged in activities which has to do with transitional justice and uh, dealing with the past. For us means uh, to uh, try to uh, inform a new generations about what happens in the past, creating collective memory which is based in facts and not in, in myths. Pastaj, ashtu të rahur dhe pa forcë, pra të rezuan në tokë. Edhe pse shumë i rahur, 
kjer ste vedi ti je. Pa saj filuan të shtijin me push automatike në kokën e ti. Shtijen shumë plumba. Kafka po tuaj se ju bërë coke fërbi. Persona në uniform, pa saj u larguan. Trupi i gjali të më, që në rëqenatës në shtëpi, dhe u marës të nesra. Kam parë në anë dhe ka të mutra dhe shtrida në tokë, gjithësej aty ishën pasirit të pravë. Kam të gjuar nga të tjirit e nënë, se cila kërkon të uj, sa herë që pi uj, ta një më kujtohën tjirit e sajë për uj. Kërkoj falje nëse se vrejta që një shqetsu shumë për jush, kërë nuk është qëllimi jo, në definitivisht. Në Kosovë e kanë hup jetën, jënë vra ose jënë shduk, 13.535 personaj. Shumica dërmuse për i tyne, respektivisht 10.812 jënë shqiptar, 2.197 jënë serb, 275 rama, shkali, egjiptas dhe tjerë, bështnjak në të pesë, tek shqiptarët, shumica, dhe më anë në bi 80% të atyne që në vra ose në zhduk, janë kanë qenë civil. The percentage of kids, so children up to 18 years old, was much higher in Kosovo than in Bosnia-Herzegovina and Croatia. So, in a sense, I would say the war in Kosovo was really cruel and the percentage of civilian victims was higher than in other countries of ex-Yugoslavia. Mas këtë në konflikteve ka gjithmonë viktima edhe këto viktima që shetë seket edhe ju ma herët, të shira e tyre e parë është me pas drejtsi. Kështu që në shpesh ka raste kur vendasit nuk janë gjendje me gjykuqa të rastet, kështë kryohen tribunalit të ndryshme ndërkomtare, e cilat veprojnë bas konventave edhe statuteve të tyre, si kur tribunalit ndërkomtar për Ruandën, edhe tribunalit ndërkomtar, mas pari ka qenë edhe Njërmbergu, në cilën jënë procedu gjykimet për nazit në dodhën a gjatë vitit në luftën e dytë botërore. Edhe për fundimisht e kemi edhe gjykatën ose tribunalin penal në dërkomtar për rastet e ndodhëra, për krimet e kryera në teritorin e ishë Jugoslavis. Për gjithësi, tribunali Hages mirët me qështjet në dhaja, me persona që kanë dhonë komanda, me persona cilët kanë pas fuqi komanduse. Ata zakonisht nuk mirën me persona cilët kanë djeg, i kanë djeg urdrat ose kanë përndjeg persona në bastë të urdrave apo situatave të ndryshme. Nëse ka rastet të tila, tribunalin ndërkomtar i dërzën letrat, i dërzën akuzat të gjykatat lokale. Numri të dënuarve në krejt këto tribunale ose në për krejt këto gjykime është afërsisht 50. 50 e disa veta janë dënu edhe mbesin 13.000 personat të vdekur në avim në përfundimin që gjykimet nuk janë të mjaftushme për satisfakcion ose për knatësi, për me qenë ma të shlirum familjarë të viktimave. I've been in Kosovo on and off since 2000 and I was prosecuting uh, numerous war crimes cases in Kosovo during the Yonmik period. Currently I have returned with Ulex since last year and I have been conducting the investigation of a number of war crimes. Oftentimes it can be quite difficult to deal with war crimes um, following an armed conflict. It's part of a transitional justice mechanism. It's also part of a reconciliation mechanism. Um, to that end, you need to have an independent arbitrator to assist in that. This is the reason that international prosecutors are brought in. Also, it can be quite difficult for local prosecutors and judges to prosecute their own people because they're perceived as being heavy-handed, as being traitors to the cause, for example. They have to do the initial excavations. If they find anything that indicates there are bodies there, they will have to get an order from the Serbian judge to come and open the site properly. Okay. And at that stage, they will have to move very slowly. One of the principal difficulties is uh, intimidation of witnesses. The threats to their families, 
monies paid to the witnesses or the names of the witnesses being disclosed by members of the media. This is a very small country. Everybody knows everybody else, particularly in small towns and villages. And for that reason, they will know if somebody has cooperated with the prosecution office in the prosecution of war crimes against people perceived to be heroes. That is, those whom the KLA are those who took part in the conflict against the Serbs. D'un point de vue politique, me semble-t-il de comprendre, il y a cette nécessité aujourd'hui de ne pas troubler l'équilibre politique. Nous avons un peu de temps à faire des choses do del një raporti falsifikuar dhe do del kërkon as një komandant i luftet në do të ikë për gjithësis të gjukatë speciale ashtu që nuk i ka një këtë tjerave në Kosovë ka qenë gjukatat e unë mikut pas ta i ka qenë tribunali haks pas ta i ka qenë gjukatë e uleksit ka gjukatë tonë speciale por lufta dhe ushtëria shtimtarët Kosovës në fond të triumfojnë. E triumfi maj ma dhe ushtëri shtimtarët Kosovës është liria që po e gëzojmë sotë. Jam Smajle Lezaj, kam qenë komandant në brigodën në tretet të një batalioni, momentalisht jam dhe kryetari organizatës vetaranëve të luftës në nivel Kosovë. Kemë nga Shqiptarë të Kosovës kemi qenë të detyruar të formojmë një ushtri sepse Rubria ka qenë 86 djeqare nga Sërbët dhe është dashtë me qenë aktivista dhe me qenë të zëllëshë me zërë. Nuk ka asë pak lidhje që është hubë vlau, që në plagosur dy vlazën, që në ra njërstë, sepse o dashtë me di që pëllëri duhet me sakrifiku. Eris me mbrëndër. A është lajim, kjo është dja ljajtës, këta jenë bashkëpshatarë të fshatit tonë, radafëci. Jenë viktimet luftës që ne i qojmë martirë, nuk kanë qenë ushtarë. Por, si hakëmori ndaj ushtërisë të imtarët të Kosovës, ata i vrasin këta civil. Ushtëria së imtare të Kosovës, ka luftu me regullat të luftës. Konform konventa u Gjenevës, u shtëria shtërimtare Kosovës ka bo luftë shtërimtare. Luftë shtërimtare sepse kemi qenë të okupuar dhe luftë është vilu gjithë kërë në visët tona, asë njëherë nuk andohë se u shtëria të kalaj kufinin dhe të futët ose të kontaktoj me civil, apo të futët në teritorit e tjera, thjeshtë ka qenë luftë shtërimtare. It's good to have rules of the war. I myself and Albanians, we as well, have codes of the war. It's mainly known the code of honor. Uh, it's canonic and uh, it's exactly what the uh, rules of the war say, that you don't uh, misbehave with uh, unarmed, unprotected, with uh, women, with children, uh, with those that are not part of uh, the enemy. Ramos Shahadine, head of the party called the Alliance for the Future of Kosovo, a parliamentary party in opposition. I was a part of creating or, or founding the KLA. I served as a commander. KLA was a guerrilla army 
uh, formed by uh, Kosovar people, by citizens, to resist the pressure of the uh, Milosevic regime at the time. It's good to realize that we faced a threat of genocide. During the war, it was uh, orchestrated a campaign to expel Albanians, Kosovo Albanians from Kosovo. Uh, half of our population, million of us, we left the country, and many were killed in systematic way. Sonia <laughs> Vezotri, ne nuk do të ishim këtu pas akrikisën e djembe të anë. Në ndërim do të gjithë përrame për njërin e popullit shqitar, juftoj të nderoj me një minutë të heshtja. When the war ended, I uh, worked together with many colleagues and intellectuals to create a third choice politically. In year 2004, December 2004, I became the Prime Minister. This is case number IT0484, the prosecutor against Ramush Haradinaj, Idris Balai and Lahi Brahimai. KLA forces under the command and control of accused Ramush Aradinai mounted a systematic campaign in order to drive ethnic Serbs out of the villages where they were living. <laughs> were persons who were asked questions as witnesses and whose names don't even appear on witness lists because they have been killed. I don't want protective measures because that such me measures do not exist in reality. They only exist within the boundaries of this courtroom. War crimes basically is based on the testimony of witnesses. Sure, you will have lots of forensic evidence, documentary evidence, orders from military commandment, commanders to the commanders in the field and commanders in the field to their subordinates. But none of that works without the testimony of witnesses. And the testimony of witnesses is where the problem lies and exists. If Miss Issa and later Defence Council and the bench would put questions to you. Would you answer them? I said earlier, it is not that I do not want to answer questions. However, on basis of the cases that have occurred and the circumstances in the country I live, which is most important. I don't want, I don't want any further explanation this is, Mom. I just want to know if I invite Ms. Issa to continue the examination, will you answer her questions? Yes or no? I would have wished to, but I cannot. I apologize. It's an uh, integrity of a good lawyer uh, to present a case with proper facts and not to uh, add to that all kind of a uh, we saw in the past when people just to gain an asylum in US or in Europe uh, with them, with their families, they was prepared to say any kind of story the judges didn't want to hear. They asked to leave the room because they realized it was uh, not just unrealistic but offending for a courtroom. <laughs> Mr. Haradinai, will you please stand up? The chamber finds you not guilty on all counts. The four five shots. Thank 
Kosova i ka kalu e tre filtra të trajtimit të luftës së që kësh. Një filtr ka qenë o këbëja, shikarë, miku, me gjyshtarë, tonë popu i vetmushën. E ka ndodhë harda, edhe harda e ka trajtu e Kosova, po edhe e uleshit më vonë. Unë me nëri që është ka krime më ose me se ka pasë për tjetë të në atë procese e i qëngjetë ku janë, po procese, procese pa ku fi, fërë njërë. This didn't happen to Croatia or to Serbia or to Bosnia. Serbia answered to ICTY and then they treat themselves war cases. So two filters. Kosovo has three filters so far. It's the fourth one. So this is a, a proof that uh, it's a very discriminative way how it's been acted with Kosovo. Ja sam Negova Mavrić, ja sam i ače srpske nacionalnosti. Ovo je moja srpska kuća i ovdje su moji preci još odavno u Veliko Hoći došli, ovdje živjeli. Ja sam koordinator udruženja, znači predsjednik udruženja porodice kidnapove nestalih za teritoriju opština Orahovac. Predstavljam srpsku zajednicu i deo romske zajednice. Ovdje ima 85 ljudi koji su kidnapovani i nestali i ja predstavljam te porodice. Pa ne mogu zaboraviti kada mi je normalno brat kidnapovan. To je. I tako. Da, to je malo teško pitanje, znači ne mogu to. Jednostavno, spustio se do grada Orahovac da bi kupio lekove i odjedno su naišla ljudi iz UČK i jednostavno su ga kidnapovali i ubacili u auto i odvedu u nepoznati pravac. Kje je treće godine, ja sam, mogu slobodno da kažem, imao sreću, imao brata pronašao, nažalost, ubijenog, ali sam njegove posmrtne ostatke sahranio po običaju. In some time, they will be able to answer, and nothing is a secret, nothing is a secret, nothing is a secret. We all know that the first one who must answer, whether it is a friend or not, is Mr. Tachi. I say Tachi, Mr. Tachi Haradinaj. Tachi is a friend of Fatme Limaj, but for me, for me, Fatme Limaj is on my territory, and he is on my territory where I live here, and he is on my territory where I live here, and he is on my territory where I live here. Ovdje da ja živim, boravio, jer je Mališevo samo 12 km da ovdje daleko. Evo danas treba dođe predsjednik komisije iz danesta lica Vlada Republike Srbije, gospodin Veljko Dalović. Hvala što 
Upravo su ova sela tada i etnički očišćena praktično, sem velike hoče i dela Morahovca koji sada u jednom malom prostoru ograđen ima par stotina Srba koji još tamo žive, sve ostalo je i popaljeno i popljačkano i uništeno. Međunarodna zajednica 1999. godine i 2000. godine nije uradila mnogo. Bavila se prvenstveno žrtvama među hovskim albancima. I neka su se bavila, i to je u redu, ali morali su se bave i prema i sa žrtvama hovskih Srba. Ja verujem da će definitivno zarad budućnosti ovih prostora i budućnosti nekog zajedničkog života to morati se uradi. Jer bilo kojim mestom na prostoru gde su bili sukobi, do tada nema mira ni stabilnosti. To je nešto što jednostavno brine. Oče naš, ko zna na pamet? Svi zajedno. Ajde, svi zajedno. Ajde. Polako, neko mora da povedi, je tako? Ajde. Oče naš, Things are peaceful at the moment, but remember that not, not 20 years have passed since, since the war, and the war has left very open wounds, uh, given what happened here at the hands of the Serbs. That's not to say that there were not crimes committed from the other side, but the principal responsibility lies with the Serbian regime. Raporti, civil, ushtar, të serb të është pëthuj se i barabart, ose Pazate, du percent jon civil, katër të tjetë jon policë dhe ushtarë, ndërsa të shqiptarë të raporti është shumë a shumë në favor të civilve, në fakt, ma shumë civil jonë bra. Se na pretendojmë që edhim numën kë gjatë sakë, se pëthuj se gjashtë mëtë vite, jemi duke hulumtu në tëren, edhe duke intervistu familjarët e viktimave, dëshmitarë, duke mledhë këtë dokumentacionin e mundshëm, edhe kemi kriju një bazë dhanave mbi viktimat e lirë, edhe me publiku që të liber, kjo është veç pjesa e parë, këtu jenë naracionet e atyne që jenë vra, apo jenë shduk gjatë vitit në atë të ti. Halja pa u fut në vitit në atë në anë, edhe është do më dhonë përse cilin një të regim, përfshin dhanat personale, datën e lindje, se kështu më radhë, qka ka punu, kanë prej antarve të familje se kalonë, edhe rëthanat që është vra, apo shduk që i përsa. The motto of Kosovo Memory Book is let people remember people. And uh, the, the first idea for this project was to try to uh, restore the dignity of victims, but by not letting them remain only numbers, because they are not numbers, they are people who have their families, their colleagues, their uh, job, and we should, as society, remember them uh, as such, like people. I was 13 years old during the war. As a child, I was quite happy at home and uh, I had a lot of family around. There was this thing that I always uh, thought, you know, it's, it's my family, whatever happens, nothing will ever happen to my family. And then um, the soldiers came in and I saw my auntie there and they, one of the soldiers just uh, pushed her and, and shot her. And um, my cousins then started crying and calling, you know, calling her and and he just dropped the gun, shot her again and just started shooting at us. And I just remember just leaning on the wall and just sliding down. Uh, the first time, the first time round, I, I was hit in my leg. And then um, the, the, the shooting stopped and um, um, someone was making noises like they couldn't breathe. 
And I just remember thinking to myself, you know, just try not to do that because they're going to do it again. And and then they started shooting again. And that's when uh, it hit me in my arm and in my back. And then after that, not for not very long, it just, it was all quiet in the garden. Um, so I decided to, you know, to lift my head up and and see what was happening. Um, and then at that point, um, I realized that my, um, my youngest cousin Gantz was alive because he'd um, spoken to me um, and then um, I wasn't sure if my other cousin Fatos um, had made it um, and then I realized with some of the others that they could make it. Um, two brothers, Spann and Spachim. Uh, Spann was just a year younger than me. Um, and that's my mother, Sala, and my auntie, Shevkota. And my cousin, uh, Nora, um, she, she was, so it's what, four, four days um, after it happened, she was meant to turn 50 when the NATO bombing started on the 24th of March. Um, so she said, you know, I'm, I'm gonna celebrate my birthday. I'm gonna be 15, we're gonna be free, and I'm gonna invite all my friends. She, she didn't make it to even turn 15. contacted by Natasha Kandic from the Humanitarian Law Center in, in Belgrade. So we were contacted about, you know, um, going to Serbia and, and testify. We knew that if we didn't go, then, you know, the, these men would walk free. I felt quite strong in that moment because, you know, there, there was this man who um, three years before had a gun on his hand and he thought that he could do anything and decided to um, to take away my, my family. And there he was sat there and had to listen to every word I said. Uh, and he wasn't able to do anything about it. I hope that, you know, he, uh, him, him and other people would realize that, you know, you can't just go off and shoot someone and you think you're going to get away with it and you're going to be a hero and, you know, killing innocent people. Good morning. Good morning. Could you please read aloud the affirmation? This is, uh, on the card handed to you. I solemnly declare that I will speak the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I personally have a feeling that with, uh, with this new tribunal and these these um, trial, it's gonna really, there's gonna be more attention on that and what had happened during the war here, even more forgotten. I feel like it's almost as, it's gonna be our fault what had happened, you know, during the war. I'm Sabina Karishi Kasana. I'm Hulum Tusen project in Libri Kuitimi Kosovas. Sat Yena Prigadit Permeshkun 
qytetë në fushë Kosovë, kena në fushë Kosovë janë dram edhe janë shtu kur qëtësej 239 persona. Për shambull në shpinë e jojë? Shpinë të emë, shambull, dherën e borën e ka rëzu me ato blitë. Okej. Ka qenë në fërë nizetë rratë policë. Këtë nizetë, e ma shumë ka qenë. Me maska, disa e kom njoftë. A jo në konkret me maska? Këtë me maska, janë kom po disa e kom njoftë. Që shkeni mujtë me njoftë nësë? E kom njoftë shumë kjartë, për asyë si kom njoftë në pamje, në tropë. Ka qenë fëqinë të anë, kom shi të anë ka qenë. Qëka ka ndohë më ndejtë? Kemi shku për Shqipni. Me një arje një pregadit? Jo, në kanë dërkut vetë me dhunë, së të qenë trenit. Po. Të gjithë keni dalë prej shpisë, përveç babës? Babës. Pse baba nuk? Baba ka qenë ismur nga Shqeqeri. Plak. E pse nuk pranë të jaj me arë? A pëse? Nuk ka mutë me Livisë. Ka qenë i Livisë shumë? Shumë ka pakë. Nuk ka mujtë me ezë, dhe me thonë shumë. Sa duhet jo, jo. Shka ku që ka qenë që qere ka unë ato farë. E ju s'ki një pas ku gjo me marrë me një? Jo, s'nalion, s'nalion, jo, 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 s'nalion. Jo, thë. Mes disa komshive që ka nërë me shtatin, kom blacë. E veç pak, në... Veç pe kalajnë, me thonë, ne... E kam parë babë në vrarë. Qëllet kanë të tu me marë kur fëmën e babës. Po nuk i ka liu policia së dhe. Dhe këtë dit me gjasë për edhe, 1993, baba vërros në Lesmer. Si të pasë dëshmive që kom. Ku që ka varos? Sërbë, sërbë vetë, me eskavator. Në varezat? Jo, jash vareza, jash kicime të kom. Në një vend? Afer vareza. Afer. Ka ka qenë keqët pjesë të të varos, që ka? Po. Me srugu të vareza, që pjesë të 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 Zëtë grupa, dhe me thonë një në konë. Po, po, po. Po, ku fomat që në konë? Ja, ku fomat të kalë marë. Po. Ku fomat të kalë marë? Që të në konë? E, kur gjo se kini gjetë në për këto grupa? Ja, ja. Në fillim u konë i varosën se i dija këtu, dhe me thonë. Ma ndej këta forcat sërbe, për me... Shef krimin? Shef krimet që i kanë bërë, e kanë e kësumu krit trupat. Po, i kanë marë, po. Zëtë trupat edhe e kanë marë me kamiona, me qëkave Tek mas disa viteve janë identifiku që janë gjithë në batajnitë, në barezë masive në Sërbi, në batajnitë 07. Në mesin atyre u kanë edhe baba ju. Pala faqojmi me kaluarën edhe na muj me e të përpara, muj me jetu jetë normale, mos me dëmtu tjertë edhe nështëta kjo ndihmon edhe për me hapë mendjen edhe tjerve qka duhet me boje qka së duhet qëfarë rezultatet e kina nëse vazhdojmë si për para që shukon Jem doktor Arsen Gërgjaliu, jem direktor of Institute of Forensic Medicine in Kosovo. The people which we are looking for them, they are Albanians from Kosovo. This is the place. The world is this. We have one kind of information through the, our 
work which we are doing together, Pristina Commission and Belgrade Commission, that uh, there are some uh, bodies uh, buried. After a lot of job during the 17 years, we saw that the bodies had been removed from crime scene in Kosovo, and after that they removed in different uh, ways. Uh, even to 500 kilometers far from the crime scene. For example, from Batajnica, we got 19 transfers of more than 935 bodies. Ča je pjesa tjetr, če pe šef dikor vrat, trata pas metra, kaj dve in si to nošt. We have different opinions with the Serbian colleagues. But when we start to work, we wanted to have a one point together. That our work to be based on humanitarian nature. We wanted to work out of the politics. We opened more than 500 graves and identified more than 4,300 people. But uh, we have still missing 1,660 bodies. For the fate of them, we don't know nothing. I got this privilege to open the family of our legendary commandant, Mr. Adam Yashari. He created the KLA and he fight with the Serbian army and police three days and three nights with his family and he has been killed completely with the family. With the family license, I got this part of the mustache as a, how to say, as a souvenir, as a, something which is making me big and privileged to have this part as a remembering of him. These three plastic bags are telling that we are not sure that does these parts of the bones became from one person or more individuals. So from all three bags, we need to take the DNA samples and to send it to the ICMP in Sarajevo and Tuzla and to wait the comparing between the blood donors and DNA profile taken from the bones. It's like a puzzle. 206 bones one body have. Can you imagine? 150 people in one grave, mass grave, and transported or excavated twice, and again in a, another grave, excavated again in another grave, how the bones can be mixed here. When we are uh, meeting the families, we are telling them that maybe we are going to found another part somewhere else or, uh, and we will visit them again. They have a form to sign and to tell us did they want uh, to be uh, informed again or not. But mostly of the families, uh, they are telling that they want every bond which have been found, doesn't matter when, uh, to send them again. We have around 400 bags here. These are the cases which are not still identified. This is one case which is identified through the DNA analysis, but families didn't want to take. Uh, different families, they have different reasons. In this case, they are still believing that he is alive in Serbia, 
they doesn't believe to the analyze this or something like that. Uh, it's very hard sometimes to some families to take the hope of fate of the family relatives. I used art um, throughout my studies to um, to talk about my my past, to talk about the war, and to um, talk about the culture I came from. And so we decided that you know through our family story to to tell the stories of all the families that um, that experienced war the way we did in 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 Kosovo. Sa utiskom da kažem ono prvi put dožili ne katarze s obzirom da po prvi put vidimo da da se vreme pomera tamo kod nas de vreme inače ono stalno stoji. Super je što se ova izložba desila. For me, it was really important uh, when we had the exhibition in, in Belgrade. We left um, a comments book. Seeing these these comments, it kind of almost gives you hope that you know, yeah, a time would would come where, uh, where even maybe people in in Serbia even work towards them, you know, getting the government to to accept it and um, to maybe one day apologizing and taking responsibility as well for the crimes that have been committed in, in Kosovo. My name is Besa Luci, I'm chief editor of Kosovo 2.0. Kosovo 2.0 is an online and print uh, magazine based in Pristina. We work in uh, English, in Albanian and in uh, Serbian. Information and knowledge uh, about our recent past is extremely limited and it's very problematic. And it has to do with how history is being uh, narrated, documented and talked about today. There's like a tendency to either be more conservative, there's a tendency to easier adopt uh, nationalist rhetorics and understandings. For me, I think it is important to, to understand the 90s or to have a larger understanding, to be able to understand the, the, the war. Good evening and thank you everybody for coming to the screening of the documentary Depth 2, which the, uh, the topic of which is uh, war crimes during the last war in, uh, in Kosovo. Uh, one of the initiators of the documentary was the Humanitarian Law Center, an organization based in Kosovo and also in uh, Serbia. The over goal of the project was to initiate a debate uh, in societies in Serbia and Kosovo about the legacy of war. After the movie we will have a short debate about it. Thank you. I dok je još kamion bio pod vodom, on je izašao i rekao mi bole pozadi vire neke noge. On ponit merš mi malo lunšum kris malo lunšum brtima, ale monu kde mi kozume ne, zato kde mi kozume. První moment mi ti mi erdem. The Artinim saw Imami Sam can choose some can plug off, some can rock and do the chick to a area to jack. It was a color that says take a search, co gusas that totelo, and co pola, to a bill of stash. To a bill of Rasbatanum. Nisa to pray a bill of it. Policiat, the records of the people, Coliko, Ima, or the Serati, you should be of Mukavich. Or a chess. Cause name a puno store, so do I.
it is really important that this film, which documents the entire process of uh, uh, hiding the body remains of killed uh, people during the war in Kosovo, um, it's important that it is made by Serbian filmmaker. Uh, how was the film received in uh, Serbia? It's kind of mixed, uh, mixed reaction. One, one big thing is that many people in Serbia don't know about uh, the, the crimes. Many more don't want to know. So this is very important why this film needs to be shown. Because uh, it's, it's uh, one step to the catharsis. And if the catharsis does not happen in, in Serbian society, uh, uh, there is no uh, reconciliation. I would like to ask uh, uh, people here who are from Kosovo, uh, is, it, is it right time and uh, can uh, other brave uh, filmmakers or other artists speak about possible crimes of Albanians against uh, non-Albanians here in Kosovo during the war? I personally think that it is not the right time for Albanians maybe to talk to uh, make movies or to talk about uh, Albanians doing crimes against them, the non-Albanians because then uh, the focus would be, shift, would be shifting towards that. Albanians making crimes, Albanians being the perpetrators of crimes. It's, uh, I feel that it is like a... Crime it's, is a crime. I think that crime is a crime. No matter who commit it, they need to be in front of justice so we need to talk about it as soon as possible. This is just my opinion after all. But you cannot justify it in any circumstances. Okay, my point was that uh, we <coughs> maybe should be politically smart. If we start now uh, like making movies, it would like uh, maybe internationally show a bad figure of Kosovo. While, uh, well, I mean, it is there is a tendency to to now to to show Kosovo as 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 the I don't know as the bad guy. I'm wondering if societies are ready to deal with its past and to try to create a joint narrative about, about past. If we are speaking only about our victims, then uh, I'm afraid that those narratives will never come, uh, be, be the similar at least. Ta shpytja tjetër që, që shkon vazhdim. A duhet edhe që ajo serbe më pa drejtësi. Sepse më shatart e juj në Serbi, mendojnë që veç serbë kjenë viktima. Sh ju, edhe bashkë më shatart e juvë këtu, mendojnë që veç shqiptarët kjenë viktima. Pa pas kontakt me zveti, a pa pas dokumentacione mbi krimet e, e, e luftës, shkojnë të ukriju para gjykimet, apo? Qështja është që na vetë duhet mund balafaqu me të kalumen ton. Qështja e dytë, harrova krejt me thonë, edhe kërkush, sëpse shumë keq, shumë herë shpesh keq kuptohet, kërë i pajtimi, nëse përmenim kërë i pajtimin. Pse luftrat e në dheta në ishë Jugoslavi jënë konë qashtë për gjakshme? Sepse, gjatë lufës dytë botënore, mas lufës dytë botënore, edhe jo nga nazist dhe fashist, por me zveti këtu ka pas krimi të ronda. Nacionalist e shteteve, e popojve të ndryshme, ndryshme, kanë bo krimi, që të nekë uh, ustasht që për dion. Edhe ato krimi gjatë sistemit komunist janë shukat, thoi në të na, janë fut në rtepe edhe kur kur s'ka gudzot më folë për to e asë më mësu në përshkolla. Me gjithat, popuj nuk kanë harru. There is this feeling where, you know, um, oh, it has happened, it's a long time ago, let's not talk about it, and, you know, but there are so many fam families that have suffered and there are so many families who are still suffering. The government in, in, in Kosovo should take it more seriously, but also I think the international community should take it more seriously.
I believe, only through time and through the prosecution of this type of cases and then with work on the sides to effect reconciliation between the communities do I believe that things will, can progress in Kosovo. Where peace is needed, peace and stability in our region, it's in benefits of everybody. Uh, so uh, if a Balkan is, lives more in peace and in a better relations, that's good. Except we are not prepared in any relation that we are not respected. My brother would like to not be any other suburb, as he was his suburb, and he is sure that he can be found if we don't find him in the world, 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 in the world. I will not forget what they've done to my family, what they've done to my people. And I will feel bad till they are going to say sorry. But officially, they didn't say sorry still for that, what they've done. It. Uh, the life is good to check on the future, to know, not go back, but never forget. Uh, usually, if the nation is going to forget what has happened, the history will be repeated. Thank you.